What should we do first? Should we do Twitch clips? Yeah, let's watch some Twitch clips. We'll do that. We'll watch Twitch clips. And then, oh, I want to see the new, like, Diablo update. I want to see what's going on. Science, unless you're still here and want to just fill me in. We'll watch the video anyway. But I'm sure you'll tell me some good info that was not in this video that we're going to watch. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. But, yeah, let's just start. Uh, let's watch some Twitch clips and see what's going on today. I don't think there's going to be anything crazy. It didn't look like anything was going on on live stream fails. Down. I had the kick deal in front of me. I had the rumble deal in front of me. And, and the rumble deal just looked better, bro. Yeah, Maybe so they... Rice Gum yesterday exposed that his kick deal had gambling written into it. And that's why he chose to go to rumble. I, Rice Gum never liked him, never given a fuck about him. When I heard that he was like, oh, I'm picking a platform, I was like, we're going to skip that. Like, I don't care to talk about him at all. But then when I found out about the kick contract having gambling embedded in it, uh... It's very, they very good to talk about because what have we been hearing from XQC? Oh, it's not in my contract, dude. No, it's not, dude. I'm just going to do it if I want, dude. And everybody being like, oh, no, gambling. Uh, do we don't advertise gambling on, on kick.com. No, we don't. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. We just got exposed that the, the third and the fifth recommended channels are like hard coded to promote gambling. Fuck. Okay. You know what? We're going to like put in this like thing that you can opt out of gambling, but you literally have to go and click it yourself. We're not going to auto enable it. It's like, it's so meaningless. And they only did that because they got caught. It's so crazy. But uh, let's see what, right if there's any game, news on this. I don't know. But like, they wanted me to gamble like 30. Oh, well. Like I could stream, but in order to make the most possible on kick, they wanted me to gamble like 30 days or something. I don't know. XQC says that Rice Gum was the one who brought up gambling on his contract with kick. Does XQC know this for a fact or is he? Okay, let's see. Mr. Shareholder Andy over here, a guy that has equity in kick. He was paid supposedly a hundred million dollar deal to go stream over there. Non-exclusively, by the way, fucking wild. Uh, does nothing for competition between the two platforms at that point when it's uh, non-exclusive. Um, only he's only getting that bag, which good get that bag, but still it'd be cool if like maybe there would eventually be a competitor to Twitch, so Twitch couldn't just do whatever the fuck they want and take more money away from creators all the time. But uh, this guy literally was paid a hundred million dollars, but then we learned oh part of it was an equity. How much was an equity? We're not sure. I think it was speculated maybe like thirty million. Uh, but maybe even more. Uh, Gonna be real with everyone here. This chat and stream is the kind of de-stress I needed after the bull that is life. Y'all are amazing, and I hope everyone here thrives. I hope you do too, Ubi. Thank you for those kind words, man. I really appreciate that. I'm glad you're here. And uh, I mean, I feel the same way. I go live every single day because one, I, ha I feel a personal responsibility. If I don't, I feel like I'm not accomplishing what I want to accomplish. But also because I, I have a personal responsibility to come hang out with you guys. And I, not that I like, it's like, oh, it's my responsibility. I want to. Every single day you guys say something that makes me laugh, gives me an idea for a bit, for stream, to do something funny just like in the moment. I, it, it's, it's my favorite thing to do. Uh, thank you guys. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, um, oh, you farted forth. I keep telling you just to jar them and send them to me, please. Uh, but yeah, so XQC shareholder Andy over here. No, dude, Rice Gum asked to, for gambling. Let's see. Let's see. Hello? <laughs> no, bro, bro, bro. Bro, I bro. guarantee you, he's the one who brought up Gamba. Okay, so he guarantees he doesn't know for sure. In his own thing. I, I, I guarantee it. Okay. Because if it was for... Because if, if, it, if it was for... Chat, chat. I guarantee it. If that was the main goal, brother, brother, they would have brought up with me. They have, at least it was brought up. They, how is that? A <laughs> Stunlock. Oh my God, brother! I mean oh, the, his own chat. His own chat is saying Stunlocked. Oh, they're turning on him. They know they're anti-gambling. The Explain ones that are left on you're, Twitch. You're is stupid. Brother, <laughs> if I were just him, they got him, dude. Who brought it up is like, oh yeah. I love XQC, but he's obviously like he's gonna say whatever he has to do to make sure that Kick thrives and doesn't look bad because he makes money off of that, like literally in equity. Shares in the company. Okay, this amount. What if I gamble this? And if it is it okay, but if you want to gamble, then this amount. If they want to lump it together, and then hippie he, is one of the OGest of OGs. That's not enough. That's just how it is. Pokemon thinks that Miss Kiff was a bad friend to her in the train XQC and Asmund Gold Call. What is he Question. saying? Uh, what is he saying? Basically, I I kind of uh, translated for you. 
basically. Listen. Dude, okay, dude, 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 listen up, dude. Is I guarantee that it's just not for sure. He asked for that, dude. And like, uh, I like have a vested interest in saying that because I make money if to uh, kick does well. Thank you very much, dude. Okay. I love XQC. I think he's funny as fuck. I don't ever look for him for any kind of like knowledge or anything like that, though. And nobody should. There's there are some people like that out there, like streamers and things like that, who like their goal is to teach you and educate you on things and or at least explain their points of view in a very honest, unbiased way. But um, he's not, I wouldn't look for him for that. Yes, there was a tumultuous time, both in his career, in our friendship, a lot of uncertainty. Friendship? What the hell did I ever do? You want me to pull up that call with Train and X and Bro, if you think Asmin. you are so dumb if you ever think that I was a bad friend to you. I'm going to be real. In that conversation, we listened to that. Ms. Kiff wasn't really uh, the worst one in that call by any means. Like, I remember the moment that Hassan's name got brought up, all of, like, train wrecks and XQC. I'm like, dude, oh, my God, Hassan, Pokey, they're catching strays. Let's go, dude, yes. We, oh, yeah. And when they didn't do anything. Canoe accidentally bumps into the city left. I don't... Yeah. Ms. Kiff, during a lot of that conversation, just kept saying, like, he kept being like, oh, I wanted to protect, like, make sure my friend was okay, make sure my friend was okay. But at the same time, he was also saying, if I found out that day that Crazy Slick had done something horrible, I was kicking him out of the house and he was gone. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, Which, there's uh, that. Anyway. I've had the pair, long parents. Isn't that the, isn't that the guy from Twitch? Yeah, uh, Dan. Dan? I just had an interview with him and he hates me. Yeah. Oh, wait, Dan? what? Uh, I've had the pair, long parents. Isn't that the... Oh, I thought it was this that guy. The guy from Twitch? Yeah, it's Dan. Dan? I just had an interview with him and he hates me. Yeah. Dan! Hey! <laughs> what are you doing hey. here? You're here early? I am, friend from eating. Knut. Knut. Have we met before? Knut. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. I was I'm, just I'm mapping to the... Because in, in uh, Vegas, I, I met one of the weightlifters that weightlift on Twitch. I was like, I don't think I met him. No, nope. I'm Norwegian. Uh, you haven't met him in Vegas. Yeah. So, chat, this is the CEO of Twitch. Oh, we're streaming. We're Great. streaming. We're like, nice. Nice. I love to see it. Have, well, no, I have my backpack, so I'm planning on using it. Can yeah. um, uh, uh, you ask him right now? Hey, can you extend uh, gift subs for that 70 30 split for the first uh, 350? And uh, can you make it to where even if you make over 100,000, you could still get the 70 30 split? Just 70 30 split for everybody. How about you just ask him that right now? What's up? Sure? Regardless of Good. what you like, what minimum sub requirement? Just 70 30 for everybody. It's so dumb. So dumb that, that they don't do that. I know that. Idiots. <laughs> don't worry. I had that one. Yeah, I, I even have your. Some 1G runs into some assaulted teenagers. I mean, not really. I just don't understand why you're 40 years old and playing this game still. So. Well, I mean, oh, that is such a sad mentality. And it, it's such a. A self-report like that kid that guy is just terminally unfun and thinks that like oh once you get to a certain age you can't have fun anymore okay dude what really game would you what game do you people? think you're going to be playing when you're 40 what, you, what do you 99 one in, in, thank you very much Booney. i would love that no game hey, that'd be off? amazing Wait, what's the cut off when you're out of high school and college that is, yeah, dude, that kid is gonna, oh my god, what a stick in the mud, man. What a self-report. So you're high school? Hardcore stuff. Like, what? Oh, you're, oh, okay, so once you get out of high school and college, what are you gonna do for entertainment? You just sit on the couch and watch TV? What are you gonna do? Like, there's nothing wrong with entertainment. Playing games? Oh, wow, yeah, a dude in see these being toxic folks, like, I've never seen that before, right? <laughs> I'm in high school. Yeah. How old are you? All right. Why does it matter? Well, I mean, you foresee yourself in the future quitting something you love, like video games. Do you not love video games? You just kind of, you just cruising through it. I mean, I think it's a little bit of a waste of time when you're that old. But... Bro, what a loser. Well, how do you know? You're not old yet. What a loser, I dude. Sell little babies. I mean, I can think of probably <laughs> reasons that video games would be a waste of time for a high school kid, too. Do you have a 4.0? Like, yeah, oh, true, yeah, very true. But, uh, that's a very good point. But at the end of the day, it's like, even, like, comparing, like, the game, like, gaming is entertainment and TV, like, one of those is way more active for your mind. Like, are you I mean, in honor classes yes. to get more than a 4.0? Uh, no, but you know what I'm saying? It's like, there's more things you could but be doing to anybody out, like, anything saying, like, oh, this form of entertainment is bad. That's bad. That's bad. That's just cringe. Let people enjoy what they enjoy, dude. Improve your life than playing loser. video games too, right?
What a loser. Almost got his bike stolen. Hey, hey, yeah, I guess hey, he's gonna hey, have a depressing hey, hey, hey. life, that kid. Yeah. What are you doing, bro? What? I got lucky. You got lucky. That kid's always gonna look back at high school. I, I peaked, got, bro, don't, and don't I never got anywhere else. Like that, bro. What the? Right, yeah, summit. Yeah, it's like, yeah, dude, this bro. is his fucking career. I wanna see the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, but that, that guy might not have even known. Out. Probably didn't. Hey. You guys gotta be careful when you use that term. Uh, it's also a sexual term. Wait, what? The Eiffel Tower. So you can't oh. go down the street screaming, I want an Eiffel Tower. I want an Eiffel Tower. No. <laughs> no. No. Maybe. <laughs> Hopefully. Yo, Ari's out there. TwitchCon Paris, let's go. He's got a cool <laughs> fucking, what a, what a revolutionary IRL music setup. Uh, 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 Ari's cool. He's uh he's like commenting on my YouTube videos, like the ones where uh actually I don't think he's commented on any of those, but I think he's seen them where like I've done the the videos of like streamer awards where I'm like freestyling with him and stuff. Um but one time on just one of my random VODs uh and i maybe it's because we watched one of his videos or something and he got like a copyright claim and came and checked it out but it was one of the vods where i was in my room uh when i had my surgery and i was recovering uh streaming from my bed and he commented he, uh he was like oh dude i hope you get well soon man something like that i was like wow that's cool <laughs> what a what a legend <laughs> Ooh, ooh, he's hitting that like German, like house music right now, that, that German tech. Can it find Fawzen in Paris? That break chord. We have video proof. Yeah. Yep, in the clubs, yep. Look, I remember when I went to, I went to Italy on a foreign exchange program when I was a kid uh, in high school. We had, they came and stayed with us for a week and then like the next year we went and stayed out there for a week. Um... They all called it the disco, but they, yeah, they loved going to the disco out there. To ask them uh, if this is where they live. And I'm not, I wasn't there in the 70s, okay? I was there in like the uh, 2000s, okay? <laughs> it, wasn't, it wasn't during the era of the Bee Gees. You can ask him. Well, hello? Is this your tent? Yes. Do you, do you live here? Yes. You live here? Yes. Is it how is it to live uh, out there? I see you have a Norwegian flag. Uh, is it expensive? How yeah. much? Uh, ten thousand dollars. I'm not sure if I have a tent. <laughs> have you heard about snooze? Canoe. You know, I said it yesterday, and I think the clip of him yesterday was great, the way he, like, did it. Uh, but I generally, like, I, maybe this guy isn't homeless. Maybe I'm wrong. But using homeless people for content is just, like, very exploitative. I, I would not would never do it. But uh, Canute has just been going around giving them snooze, no, for which, which is tight. That's like, a, hey, you know, uh, hook them up, you know. Hook them up. Hook them up with something that will make them a little happier, you know. I like I said one time I get I went and gave a, a homeless dude a um a subway sandwich. He was like sitting outside subway. I went to go get some lunch at work, and I, I bought him one. He was like mad at me. He like didn't want it. He like wanted money for probably alcohol or cigarettes or something. And hey, you know what? Whatever they're gonna spend it on, I, that's not my choice to say. Diablo 4 Death it gives health advice. At a specific place called a malignant tunnel. So if you are the way, trying to... That's also the name of my colonoscopy. For the mal okay. There oh, we go. Jesus and Christ. Oh, that's it's cool. It's thing when you're over 50. Field trip days, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I had cool field trip days like that too, yeah, yeah. You should get yourself we went to the water <laughs> cleaning <laughs> facility where they take like all the sewage water, the shit water and stuff like that in my town and then turn it into clean water. We, we, I went to that when I was like really young. I actually want to get more. XQC gets a 700,000 donation.
Wow. Yeah, take them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, my mom Ooh, came on that man. field trip. Boom. I remember with me. Boom! Seven hundred K Dono. What? Demon what? Juicer. That's crazy. Colossus, demon slaying. Omega Overlord. Best at every game. Juicer. Bro, that's Can like the mom like, museum. Nice. That's like a whole pack of gum. I'm so hungry. Can it's quick ASMR? Oh, here we go. Oh god. Craigasm. Get ready for the Craigasms. <sighs> Minecraft is melting at frozen springs. Zoomer slow lowly on the level up. Video Here we go, settings. Boys. Options. Rest in peace. Okay. Um. Oh, live stream fails. Oh, the Valentine's Day Massacre wall there. Damn. Yeah, I've never been to the Mom Museum. There's this new museum in in Vegas though. It's the Punk Rock Museum that Fat Mike from No Effects started. I kind of want to go there. I don't want to go to that. They're like famous, like punk rock musicians go and like guide tours and stuff. I, mean, I want to see that. Um, the mob museum. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I've, I've just never been. Yeah, yeah. Never been there. Diablo four dev gives health advice. Diablo four dev gives health advice. Okay. I kind of want to hear this place called a malignant tunnel. So if you are By the way, trying to, that's also the name of my colonoscopy. Okay. There we go. Oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. It's a wait, 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 wait. Place called a malignant tunnel. So if you are. Oh, oh I thought it said lignant or something. I was like, what is he? Oh, malignant. Oh, that kind of sucks. There we go. Oh, Jesus <laughs> I mean, I don't know. it's a serious thing when you're over 50. Is, you should know that. That's, and that's, actually and this is a good point. So if you have a malignant <laughs> tunnel, you should get yourself checked out. <laughs> so in, in the world of sanctuary, when we say malignant Whatever. tunnel, uh, we mean. A Whatever. Okay. Not that funny. Um, Canute find as somebody that like has had to have colonoscopies and have had polyps found. It's not fun. Not fun. They were always benign, but still, I now I go every fucking three years. Um, I had to do those because of like the the issue like the with the hemorrhoid and I had to have the hemorrhoidectomy, which made me bedridden for a month. Hardest thing I've ever gone through. That surgery fucking sucked. A lot of you guys were here for that. That whole month of bed streams. Good times. But also hard times. They were the best of times. They were the worst of times. Um, uh, they have the bullets and Tommy guns used in cases. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, oh, did the Hells Angels? I never knew that. I, I, I always heard that they like would butt heads. I didn't know they had a major part in it, though. It does. It's almost a year ago. I, I had the surgery on August 30th, I think, of last year. So we're, we're creeping up. Creeping up. And then I was bedridden all of September. And then we went to TwitchCon in October. I was wearing a diaper, walking up to Amaranth, fucking farting nonstop. Great time. Good time. Um, okay, live stream fails is boring today. There's nothing here. But have we watched one clip or more than one? No. There's nothing on here. Um. Yeah, literally nothing. Okay, no live stream fails today. What's next? Oh, you know what? I know what I want to watch. I want to watch something.